Good morning and welcome. This is uh, a return to our almost daily devotionals. You can see when I left for maternity leave, <laughs> but when these videos stopped in our little break last week. But we're thankful we can be back together and continue with them. If you find this video meaningful, click that share button below the video and, uh, and spread the word with your friends so they can join with us too. This week we are preparing for Halloween. There's all kinds of Halloween preparations happening in lots of houses. Maybe you carved a pumpkin or you've picked out your Halloween costume for the year or you're preparing to join us at our trunk or treat Sunday night from four to 6 p.m. Whatever it is that you are doing for this time of year, it's important to remember that Halloween is more than pumpkins and it's more than costumes and candy. Halloween is the day where we remember and recognize the saints who have gone before us. And so I sit amongst these cloud of witness banners in our church and I contemplate and I'm thinking about all of the people, the community, the saints that have gone before us. And so this week, we're going to talk a little bit about what that looks like. What does God's community in heaven look like? Now, Presbyterians have always looked at the Holy Spirit as an incredibly powerful person. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, we are able to be in communion, not just with the people on earth, not just with the folks that we see around us on a daily basis, but through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the power and work of God's grace, we are connected to all of the people who came before and all of the people who will come. Not, not just in a way where we're connected with family members by history and meaning, but actively presently right at this moment in time, we are present with those people. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we're able to commune with them, to be with them at any given time. It's an active thing. It's a current thing. It's not something we wait to experience at the end of time or at the end of our lives, but something we experience every day through the power of the Spirit. And I wonder how many times we sit and feel disconnected, feel isolated or alone, we feel like we are the last of something or maybe the only of something left. Or we feel unconnected from what is coming in the future. And we forget that God actively currently, right at this moment in time through the, through the Spirit, connects us with those who have come before to our ancestors. And so we are not alone, ever. We are not isolated. We're not the last of our kind or the first of our kind, but one person in a giant community of faith, giant community of the saints. We live as one body through time, through time and through space. And we can be aware of that today, right now. And so maybe you can't see these people anymore. Maybe you can't physically see their presence, but you can feel it. You can be aware of it and you can be strengthened by it. And so we give thanks for the grace of God. We give thanks for the life-giving, affirming power of God that connects us in a real way with all of the people who have gone before us. And we look forward to those who will come and remember that we are connected forever, right now, this second. Who are you thankful for? Who are you experiencing a connection with? Who is the spirit giving to you as a source of strength and courage and community? God bless.